Nigga, I ain't you been blessed with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. Ephesians, it's in you, it's in you, it's in you. Somebody say it's in me. Come on, come on. Somebody say, 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 I got the truth, baby. Come on. It's in you. It's in you. A reminder of what God told Moses, and I'm getting ready to hear. He was leading them out of Egypt. He had just did the ten commandments. They was going towards the promised land, and they came to an obstacle called the Red Sea. And, and the children of Israel began to murmur and complain. You brought us out here to die. You should have just left us back in Egypt. See, that's what's wrong with a lot of folks. They're ready to go back to bondage when God is ready to take them for freedom. But, but Moses said, stand still, for you will see the salvation of the Lord. And Moses went to God on behalf of the children of Israel. And God said it's so funny. <laughs> God said it's so funny to Moses. They, they, they got Pharaoh trailing them. They at the Red Sea. They got the obstacle. And God said, why are you crying out to me? Yeah, come on. All right, now. See, too many people are doing a lot of crying when they should be conquering. Woo! Somebody said, it's in your hand. And, and as I get ready in, God told Moses, he said, why are you crying out to me? He said, Moses, what's in your hand? Here we go again. And Moses had a rock. And God just gave him one word. God said, stretch. Woo! Somebody say, stretch. 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 Say it, stretch. Say it, he got all the doors right here in the stomach. Say, stretch. Stretch means to enhance your normal capacity to go beyond what you've been dealing with. And some of you, your next breakthrough not gonna come until you just stretch. Your next miracle not gonna happen until you just stretch. Stretch what's in you. It's a shame that many people gonna go to church their whole life but never experience the kingdom. Because they don't wanna stretch outside of comfort. And God said, I need you to stretch because I'm trying to take you from comfort to covenant. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say, it's in your hand. Yeah. Stretch. I believe this is a season to pursue and recover like God told David and Zikman. He said, God, what shall I do? God said, pursue and recover. He said, without fail, you shall recover all. When you begin to step out by faith and you begin to do what God has called you to do, when you begin to expose what's in your hand, then you can receive the elevation. No exposure, no elevation. No exposure, no elevation. You got to expose what's in you. And we got too many people dying in the church pews every Sunday because they're under the leadership of a dictator that's oppressing the divinity that's within them. And we got too many believers that have become casualties of church. Because they refuse to walk in what is in them. Encourage yourself and say it's in my hands. Father, we thank you for this exhortation. And we give you the glory and the honor. And I just want to encourage you to walk forth with what God has put within you. Your gift shall make room and take you before great men. He has given you the ability to gain wealth. That means there is something within you that prosperity is attracted to. I told God, God, I don't want to be anointed but broke. I look through all the Old Testament. The Bible says Abraham was rich. Yes. Joseph was rich. He owned all of Egypt. He only had the house of Pharaoh. David was rich. Solomon had wealth. I God, 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 God. Show me how to use what's in me. Not because I just want the, uh, the wealth and the riches, but I want to establish your covenant like you said wealth was supposed to do. It's in your hands. Let's give God a hand clap of praise.